assalamu alaikum everyone uh, i'm back with another video and today i'll be showing some more stuff on customization of the portal so there are two things that i'll be mainly showing today uh, one is that uh, the, this in this data table widget if you see that there are no checkbox here present so i'll be bringing all the checkbox so that we can select those uh, checkbox easily and uh, one more thing is that one more checkbox in the on in the bottom i'll be presenting on which if you select the whole record will get selected like we use in the table in the background table as select all the same functionality will be running here okay so let's get started uh, this is the main widget through which this is work working so this is the data table widget which i have already opened because it mainly takes a lot of time to open so i have already opened for you so over here if you see that there uh, there is one ng repeat ng repeat works the same way as for loop okay so item is my variable and data dot list data is an object and list means all the record which is there by item dot sys id means the sys id of each record so uh, i'll be adding the checkbox here only so i'll make one column td represents a column everyone i know everyone knows this so i'll be giving a class as center and input type equals to checkbox okay ng model is a must because ng model is uh, mainly responsible for uh, binding the view into the model or uh, any other directives uh, such as input text area checkbox so it mainly captures the value which we are uh, uh, mainly uh, which we will select with the type like for example uh, for checkbox there is true or false value so ng model will be capturing those or if any type as input type is text then it will uh, take the value when whatever value you enter in that uh, text area field so ng model mainly binds the view into the model uh, it helps in the binding purpose so ng model is a must for uh, all the input type if you want to use it in the client script or server script those values so i need it ng model is uh, equals to let's give a name as chk check b x checkbox okay and uh, <clears throat> that's it i think so ng model type that's it okay so if i save and if i refresh here well uh, you can see that checkbox is there but uh, number is coming here guys so i think so i have to write one more thing which i haven't uh, there is something known as no wrap no wrap everyone knows that no wrap what it uh, does so i will be adding it uh, here after this row because in every row this is happening so i'll be just adding it here dh class equals to text no wrap and see what it does well i think so this is the perfect one now what i want is if i select this value okay so i 
आई मेनली वॉन्ट द सेस आई डी ओके सो लेट्स डू वन मोर थिंग ओके सो हियर आई एल एड वन थिंग नोन एज एन जी चेंज मीन्स द वेन एवर द वैल्यू गेट्स चेंज बाई डिफॉल्ट द चेक बॉक्स वैल्यू इज फॉल्स बट वेन एवर इट बिकम्स ट्रू देन वॉट विल हैपन सो ओके सो नाउ हाउ लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू कॉल द क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट फ्रॉम एच टी एम एल सो वी विल बी यूजिंग सी ओके एंड द फंक्शन नेम विच विच यू विल बी यूजिंग इन द क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट ओके सो आई एल बी यूजिंग सेलेक्ट बॉक्स सेलेक्ट रिकॉर्ड ओके सेलेक्ट रिकॉर्ड एंड आई एल बी पासिंग दिस एन जी मॉडल बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इट बाइंड द इट हेल्प मी टू बाइंड द डेटा इन टू द मॉडल व्यू इन टू द मॉडल सो इट मेनली कैप्चर्स द वैल्यू सो आई एल बी पासिंग दिस एज वेल एज आई एल बी पासिंग द सिस आई डी ओके that's it and now in the client script if you go and uh, over here select record is the main function which i'll be calling so c dot select record equals to function value comma id and a semicolon okay so if my value is already present okay so i think so i need one more variable uh, i need one more variable where i'll be pushing the sys id so that will be my scope scope means i can use in any function scope dot uh, selected value okay selected value equals to i'll take it as an array okay now if my value is already present then i'll just push it in the selected value if my value is already present i'll push it in the selected value else i'll just pop it dot pop id so i'll just give an alert here so mainly what is it doing this check box is mainly true or false okay so if this value is true means true means i have checked this then it will push it in this else it will pop means if it is false then it will pop it from uh, this uh, array so let's check with the alert as well okay use r equals to plus test it okay select record is there so i yeah, find as well as i think so values pushed and values pop that will be better i 
id equals to this so swap id and and write popped values r and here i'll write pushed values r so now let's do some testing i'll just refresh okay uh, so i'm changing it this value see pushed values are equals to 1 okay pushed values are equals to 2 so number of records are returning now if i am pushed values are sys id popped values are sys id i hope you guys are getting it okay 